Today's topic is about the Earth's gravitational force. Now, we know that whenever we throw any object to a certain height, that object stops at the maximum height and then it falls towards the surface of the Earth. That means the Earth attracts every object towards itself, right? The Earth attracts every object. The Earth attracts every object towards itself. And why is this? This is because of the gravitational force of attraction. Now, the center of mass of the Earth is situated at its center. So, the question which arises in your mind is what is center of mass? Center of mass is basically that point where the total mass of the body is concentrated. This is in simpler terms. For example, if you take a scale in your hand and you try to balance it, you know that there is one point, only one point on the scale where you can balance it. That point is this, that point, at that point, the center of mass is concentrated. So the center of mass of the earth is situated at its center. This is a very, very important point. Center of mass is situated at its center. So the gravitational force acting on any object due to the earth is always directed towards the center of the earth. So whenever you throw any object into the sky, upward direction that is, and it falls down, that object is directed towards the center of the earth. As it falls down, its, its direction is towards the center of the earth. And that is why the object falls down because of the gravitational force. Now, we know that whenever we throw any object up, it stops at a certain height. What, it, what does it indicate? It indicates that as the object goes up, its velocity goes on decreasing. Finally, at the maximum height, its velocity becomes zero. When its velocity becomes zero, then it starts moving vertically downwards. What did I say? Whenever an object is thrown vertically upwards, it reaches its maximum height and at that point its velocity becomes zero. Why? Because the gravitational force is constantly pulling it down. Once it reaches its maximum height, it will start moving downwards vertically. Now, the next point to understand is the earth exerts a gravitational force on all the objects around it. But if you look at artificial satellites or the moon which is revolving around the earth in, in its orbits, then it is not falling to the surface of the earth. This is simply because these both objects or uh, the moon and the artificial satellite have their own velocities and they perform uniform circular motion we can consider and at that time their velocity is directed along the tangent and because of that they are not falling to the surface of the earth. To understand this more precisely with the diagram please uh, look into the next video which is below this topic and it will be clear why these objects are not falling down. I hope you understood this.